everyone! So, I'm going to talk about body image because everyone has had body image issues at least once in their life. It's really hard because you get so used to your childhood body and then you grow up and things change and things get bigger and it's just, it's so different. For example, I used to be really skinny, like unhealthy, really, really skinny. And um, I like, I, I wouldn't put on weight and I thought it was great at the time. I thought I was living life, but then my mum took me to a nutritionist and I got to a healthier weight that I'm kind of at now. <laughs> um, but the thing is sometimes it still kind of gets me down because I'm not as skinny as I used to be and sometimes it's really hard to like comprehend that this is better than then. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is that it's okay for your concerns to be illogical, like they don't always have to make sense and also they don't always have to be massive concerns as well. Like for example, I'm concerned that <laughs> I'm really self-conscious. Um, about the fact that whenever I wear my hair in a bun, I honestly look like an alien. Like, it's so bad. See? There's this scene in Mean Girls. God, my hips are huge. Oh, please, I hate my calves. At least you guys can wear halters. I've got man shoulders. I used to think there was just fat and skinny. Apparently, there's a lot of things that can be wrong on your body. My hairline is so weird. My pores are huge. My nail beds suck. I have really bad breath in the morning. Ew. And I'd like to address it for two reasons. The first being from a positive side, in the fact that I think it's really good that it shows that even the people that you put on pedestals, they still have self-doubts about themselves which reiterates the fact that everyone has body image concerns. Like, I hate it when people tell other people, like, oh, shut up, you're skinny. Like, don't worry about that. Don't be silly. Like, it's, oh, it's not your place to say that. This is their concerns. This is how they feel. You shouldn't be making them feel bad because you think that their insecurities are invalid. And the second reason I want to address it is because Plastics kind of force Katie into saying something about herself and it's just like a random thing. Um, it's okay if you are happy with yourself. It's okay if you don't have things that you nitpick on. You don't need to force yourself to say something to make other people feel better about themselves. If you're happy with your body, like that's what everyone wants to achieve. You're dead. Like, everyone wants a positive outlook on their body image. And if you've already accomplished that, then I'm super proud of you. So, welcome back Emily, um, she's been on a few of my other videos before um, and she has graciously agreed to talk about body image with me today. The first major incident for me, I was in kindergarten and we were, it was wet weather and we were all watching a movie in the one class. I was sitting in a row, like we were all in rows and I was basically sitting like this, like I could not cross my legs because there was no room so I had to sit nice and tight like this. and. I had people next to me, there was one girl, she was sitting to my left, I will not name her. So she was sitting to my left and she said, Emily, can you move over? And I could not physically move over anymore because yeah. there was no room. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, but I can't move, like, there's no space. She's like, oh, well, that's just because you're fat. Mind you, I was five and I got fat shamed in kindergarten, oh so... Oh my gosh! Yeah, um, I'd go home to my mum and dad every day and I'd ask my mum, mum, do I look fat? Like I'd sit there and like, like five. I was five, so I'd sit there and kind of like pinch my like you know rolls on my side and like just grab parts of my body and like oh but this is fat like this is not good, and um, it got to a point where I wasn't eating my lunch because I felt that if I ate I'd be fatter. What are some things that you like to change about yourself? Um, to be honest, I really don't like my legs. Okay, but on the positive side, what's something that you do like about yourself? Um, I feel like the, like my torso is something that I'm kind of learning to be a lot happier with. It's fine to take action against your insecurities, but mm. as long as it's healthy action. Yeah. And just remember that you are beautiful no matter what. And we hope that someday we will all learn to be comfortable in our own skin. Yes. So thank you for watching. Um, 
Thanks again to Emily for okay. coming and being brave and talking about her experiences. Yes. Um, if you like this video, please like and comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up. Thank you. You're amazing Just the way you are And when you